And the Lady Hornets take the floor as Jason Krizwicki and Mr. Krizwicki Sr. are in the house. Number 21, Jesse Town. And the Hornets take the opening tip, goes out to Maggie Rogers. She has Krizwicki on her right, Stackhouse to her left, down low, number 24, Christina Coronado. Number 21, Jesse Town, Stackhouse, with 15 seconds elapsed from the first, gets it to Rogers. Ball was tipped away, Rogers gets it, gets it out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse puts it on the floor, floats it over to Krizwicki. Her shot is partially deflected, and the Griffins are out on the run. Rogers drives her man wide. Can be a foul call on the play. I'll be the first on Rogers. They call a shooting foul, and the Griffins run the line for two shots. 34 seconds into the game. First one's off the side of the rim. No good. Sets for a second shot. Launches, it looks like it was gonna go. An offensive rebound, it did not go. But the Griffins have it back. Foot on the line, that's gonna be a two pointer. That's an air ball. Was deflected out of bound by number 24. The Griffins and Chris Wicke will inbound under the basket. The Griffins start out with full court pressure. A screen by Stackhouse. The ball goes into Rogers. Rogers beats the trap, it gets to the Stackhouse. Stackhouse up the left side. She stopped, pulls it back, she finds Krizwicki just inside the elbow. Krizwicki's just a little bit off on the shot, but a big rebound by Jesse Town. She has Rogers. Rogers with the ball fake, a jump from the right elbow. That ball's a little to the left. And with 6.57 on the clock and no score, the Griffins will have the ball. <clears throat> Griffins move the ball around. Rogers gets out on the defense end and they swing it. There's a shot by the Griffins. It's off the mark. Krizwicki grabs the board. Gets it to Rogers. Rogers with the pressure. Gets it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse takes it up. Over to Krizwicki at half court. Krizwicki, ball gets deflected. Griffins have it. The Griffins strategy is clear. Pressure at all points and the Hornets are gonna match that in order to be successful. 617. There's a look from the lefty off the mark. Offensive rebound. There's a shot from three point range. She kicks it in off the glass for a, what they put a two up there. We'll wait and see. That could have been a three. I'm not sure. But right now it scores two nothing with 553. Rogers has a lane. Oh, beautiful find. She gets it to Town, and Town is just a little bit off on that shot. And the Griffins have it with a 2 nothing lead. Lady Horns have got a couple looks early in the game. Chris Wicke with a steal. She's trapped immediately. The ball's knocked out of bounds. Ooh. No love from the man with the striped suit. But he's the man with the authority. Now shalt not question authority as number 10 looks to inbound the ball. Krizwicki almost comes up with another steal as she's playing strong defense early in the game. Maggie Rogers almost came up with a steal. Inside, number... Shot is no good. There's a fight for the loose ball. Griffins have it. Town gets right on her man. Forces a turnover as Stackhouse comes up with it. Stackhouse crosses up number 10, leaving her shoes in the backcourt. Rogers has it. Rogers thinks about a three. Kicks it out to Krizwicki inside the town. Town pulls it back out. Ball's loose. Griffins have it. Rogers needs to be careful. She moves her feet, takes away the lane. Good defense by Rogers. Rogers does not want to pick up a second foul early in the game. And she wisely plays it smart on the defensive end as the Griffins miss a shot. Krizwicki rips it down. Another rebound for Zoe Krizwicki, who's playing strong defensively and on the board. Stackhouse takes it around number 10 with help of a screen from Krizwicki. And Stackhouse has it. Griffins set up in a 2 1 
or a 2-3 zone. Rodgers has a look to the basket. What a what a astute move by Rodgers. She couldn't complete the pass, but she made the right play as she tried to bounce it into town. A play like that will result in positive will result in positive results. However, right now the Hornets need a score as that three-pointer extends the lead to 5-0 with 3.52 on the clock. Stack has to Chris Wicke. Chris Wicke puts it on the floor, bounces it back to Stack. Stack has across the town. Town gets called for the walk. You see Town looking to pass that ball out of the double team. Heads up by Jesse Town as she's out there playing basketball the way it's supposed to be played. Good ball moving by the Griffins. They get an open look. This one doesn't go, but they get an offensive rebound. The 313 and a 5 0 lead. There's a long three pointer by the Griffins. Ball's loose. Stackhouse comes up with it. Stackhouse could have been fouled from behind. There's no call. As 24 got a hand, part ball, part wrist. No call. Stackhouse has it. Out to Rogers. Rogers pump fake drive. She has a look. Just a little long. Good defense by Rogers. Rogers with the steal. Rogers has it. Rogers has a, a shot. That shot's blocked. There's a fight for the ball. Who did they get? That'll be the first one on town. She was going aggressively for that loose ball. Two twenty-five on the clock. Griffins with a five-nothing lead. Hornets looking for a defensive stop and a score down the other end. Nice job by Krizwicki. Coronado comes in on the double team. Forces 24. She spins, throws up a shot. Town with his Town had it. Town's fighting for the loose ball. Strong move by Jesse Town. The development of Jesse Town this year has been a prime reason for the Hornets' surge and resurgence as a program as they've won more games this year than they have in any years previous that I can remember. We tip our hat to Jesse for a fine, fine season. Stackhouse. Oh, there's a, could be a turnover. That'll be a foul on Rodgers, I believe. That'll be the second personal on Rogers, 13 foul for the Hornets. Rogers will have to be careful in, for the remainder of the first half. They have to take pedal off the metal just a little bit on the defensive end. An offensive rebound and a putback is the Griffin to seven up in lead with 146 on the clock. <clears throat> Stackhouse has the ball. Over to Chris Wicke. Chris Wicke. Ball is deflected out of bounds by number 10. Stackhouse takes it. Throws up the shot. It's going to be off to the right. Griffin's deflected out of bounds. Stackhouse makes a strong move to the basket and picks up a foul on number 10, I believe. That's exactly the strategy that the Hornets are going to have to employ. They're going to have to attack that basket and force an aggressive, an aggressive, as you see, Lincoln Park team. That aggression can lend itself to fouling, but you have to take advantage with an aggressive play on your end of it. Stackhouse pulls it out. Out 
Out to Coronado. Back to Rogers. Rogers in, nice feed. And Zoe Krzywicki! Off the feed from Maggie Rogers. Converts. Cutting the deficit to five with 56 seconds to go in the first quarter. Seven to two. Lincoln Park leads. We have a travel on number 24. Pack your bags, we're going traveling. 46 seconds, Rogers has it in the backcourt. Gets it to Krizwicki. Griffins have it, Rogers needs to just put her hands up and she alters that shot. She blocks another shot. Good hustle by Maggie Rogers, playing fearless basketball down low. There's a bucket by the Griffins. Inbound pass was picked off by 22. And a quick 4-0 run by the Griffins puts the score at 11-2. Rogers takes it in the town. Town almost knocks it down. Griffins are out on the break. Rogers has to be careful. She gets back, plants her feet. Nothing you could do on that, Maggie Rogers. You did your job. You'd do it again if you had to. 13-2, Griffins lead as time expires. The Griffins go on a run at the end of the quarter to take a 13-2 lead going into the second. 